Can the dead hear us? Can the dead hear? Okay. Can the dead hear? Yes, the dead can hear. So we can go and we can speak to the dead? No. What do you mean? Because the hadith that they hear your footsteps. And it ends there. They can hear in certain circumstances. Like this is better. They can hear in certain circumstances where Allah Jalla wa Ala has allowed them to hear. Okay? Let's look at the general situation. Allah Jalla wa Ala, He says, Inna Allah yusmi'u man yasha. Indeed, Allah causes to be able to hear whomever He wills. وَمَا أَنْتَ and you بِمُسْمِعٍ مَنْ فِي الْقُبُورِ You can't make the people who are in the graves hear. So Allah, He allows to hear whoever He wills and you can't make the people in the dead hear. And in another part of the Qur'an, Allah says, إِنَّكَ لَا تُسْمِعُ الْمَوْتَى Indeed, you won't be able to make the dead hear. So what's the general state? The asal, the origin, what's the general state? Can the dead hear or can't they hear? Okay, because Allah says you won't be able to make the dead hear. The dead cannot hear. This is the general state. Okay, but we have a problematic hadith or two. Problem number one. The Prophet ﷺ said that the deceased hears the footsteps of those who when they bury him and they as they walk away he hears their footsteps that's the problem number one problem number two ikhwani is this that the prophet alayhi salam he buried the mushrikeen after slaughtering them in jihad fi sabilillah and then he said to them have you found the promise of allah to be true because we have found the promise of allah to be true umar radiallahu an says O messenger of allah you're talking to the dead he says, Oh Umar, they can hear me like you or better than you. Oh Kamaqal. So what's how do we reconcile that? We have problems. The dead can hear me better than you. Umar can hear the Messenger of Allah talking to the dead. And the Prophet says they can hear me like you. But that was in uh, that circumstances actually to Excellent. So there are certain circumstances where Allah allows, Allah gives the dead person the ability to hear. One of those is when the person is buried and he hears the footsteps of the people leaving him. The second was these mushrikeen. Okay? But in the hadith of Umar, in the hadith of Umar, what we just mentioned, there is an evidence. If the companions believed that the dead could hear, why would Umar become surprised? Does everybody understand? When he heard the Messenger of Allah speaking to the dead, wasn't he surprised? So what was their belief then? That the dead didn't hear. Do you see how we've extracted the point of benefit from the reaction of Umar radiallahu an? Oh Messenger of Allah, you're talking to the dead. He became surprised. The fact being that their aqeedah was that the dead cannot hear. But it was a miracle which Allah had bestowed upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam at that particular time in order to speak to the dead and they would be able to hear. Can they respond? No. Did they respond even in that hadith? No. Did they, did they react in any way, shape or form? The answer is no. Allah says, وَمِن وَرَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخٌ إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ And behind them there is a barrier until the day that they are resurrected. Okay, so brothers, this I hope is a definitive annihilation of the belief that we can make dua to the dead. And I hope that it is a definitive a uh, way for you guys to understand that our dua should be sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.